Shifting focus now, Paris is burning. For the third night running, pitch battles are being fought in the suburbs of Paris. But even as the riots broke out, French President Emmanuel Macron has been missing in action. He was spotted grooving to a selection of Elton John hits. He may have been swaying to Candle in the Wind, but these pictures of Macron at the Aqua Arena could add further levels to uh, the flames of unrest licking away at the His political opponents have been quick to pounce, and these pictures draw immediate parallel with the decadent Roman Emperor Nero, who reportedly played the fiddle when Rome was burning in 64 AD. Now Macron is trying to reformulate a plan to contain the chaos, as he will be holding a new crisis meeting today. For this, he will have to cut short a trip to Brussels, where he is attending a European Union summit. On Thursday, Macron had convened a similar meeting, after which he had appealed to the public to maintain calm. But the appeal proved to be ineffective as riots were witnessed in major French cities. The number of police personnel deployed has now been increased to 40,000. The number deployed on Wednesday. The French authorities expect the situation to get worse in the coming days. Now, as per the reports, 249 police officers have been injured in the violence that took place overnight. Now, meanwhile, in the town of Nanterre, where the 17-year-old was killed, a vigil was called by his mother. A large number of protesters joined the march. I trust the police for many things, but there is an increase in the number of deaths for no good reason. And that shouldn't happen. We deserve to be safe in our country. We pay our taxes. We have a right to be here. Of course I'm scared for my four boys. I'm afraid of what might come next. I would like it to stop and that it never happens again. It's just not possible to die like this for no reason. I wouldn't want it to happen to my own children. My eldest is 11. It could be him five years from now, dying from a gun wound. It's impossible. This needs to stop. Things soon took an ugly turn after protesters set a through fireworks at police. In Marseille, which is France's second largest city, police fired tear gas, grenades during clashes with the youth. Till now, nearly 700 people have been arrested for participating in the violence, as per the country's interior minister. A night curfew has been imposed until Monday in the area of Calamar. Now, the police official accused of killing the teenager apologized to the teen's family. His lawyer said that the officer was devastated by the scale of violence and never intended to... The officer has been charged with voluntary homicide. Now, the teen's mother claims that the murder is racially motivated. She said that the accused official had other ways to control her son, but he still decided to shoot him after he failed to comply with his order to stop the car.